community band. Our director, Terry Hathaway, has created a wonderful program for you this evening with a variety of pieces from the familiar that will entertain and new pieces that will enrich you. The first group you're going to your group, the first group that you're going to type tongue tie. The first group that you're going to hear tonight is a Dixieland combo, and uh, John Bash and I, director, likes to call it the Ha Ha Clinton Dix Eland Band. Yeah, I'm really cool. The first group that you're going to hear is this combo, this Dixieland combo, and I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy this. This is led by John Bastian on the trumpet, Karen Martin on the clarinet, John McNeil on the trombone, Richard Winters on the tenor sax, Marshall Potter on the keyboard, Molly D. Kaiser on banjo, Daryl McGill on the tuba, and Mark Habel on the drums. We're going to start out with uh, Alice Blue Gown. This opening number uh, was written by Joseph McCarthy and uh, Harry Tierney, originally a waltz from the musical Irene, which premiered on Broadway in 1919. It was interpreted by the original Dixieland Jazz Band and recorded that same year. This arrangement has real, was realized by uh, Henry Levine. It features solos by John Bastian and Karen Martin. Enjoy our opening number with the Alice Blue Gown. <laughs>
Mary's Backyard Party. Okay, the Ha Ha Clinton Dix Eland Band with Alice Blue Gown. We're going to continue now with Blue and the Blues. This is by H.W. Ragas. was originally a two-step played in breakneck speed. This evening's interpretation is a slow shuffle blues featuring John McNeil on the trombone and Richard Winters on the tenor sax. Blue and the Blues.
somewhere in the world, the music and lyrics of Jerry Herman are not being sung by a lady in a red headdress, or a lady with a bugle, or a middle-aged man in a wig and a boa. Hello, Dolly, Maine, and Lacarge are home to some of the most popular, most often performed, and most successful musical heroines of all time. Jerry Herman has the distinction of being the only composer lyricist in history to have had three musicals that ran more than 1,500 consecutive performances on Broadway. His musicals rank him in the pantheon of Broadway's golden age and will keep audiences humming for generations to come. In 2010, the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts honored Mr. Herman with a Lifetime Achievement Award. So for your enjoyment this evening and featuring Mr. Marshall Potter on the keyboard, the Dixieland Combo would like to close their portion of this evening's program with Hello Dolly. <laughs>
we have to kind of rearrange the stage a little bit. stage right in the front, an empty chair with a single rose on it. It is there to honor past member for many years in our French horn section and trumpet player in our stage brand and secretary of the band, Dennis Warpaw. He will be missed. At this point, we'd like to introduce our director, Mr. Terry Hathaway. When we were preparing this evening's concert, we talked about this being the 29th spring concert, and he said, yes, Opus 29. So that's the way we announce this evening's program, is Opus 29. We're going to start out with a very exciting piece of music that we're sure that you're going to enjoy. This transcription of the latest movement from the opera ballad, Malata, is a great way to open the concert band's portion of tonight's performance. The opera's scene is set near the coast of the Baltic Sea, the time is the early 9th or 10th century. Sometime after the production of this opera ballet, Rimsky-Korsakov arranged the music into a suite of five numbers. Tonight, we're going to present the last of the suite entitled The Procession of the Nobles.
1871, the procession of the nobles by Rimsky Korsakov. Our director's notes tell us the best known melody from Disney's animated feature film Pinocchio is probably When You Wish Upon a Star. Composer arranger Sammy Nestico has over 600 composed or arranged pieces of music for television, films, and swing bands, especially Quincy Jones. This 1976 arrangement of the Disney classic is masterfully scored for concert band, and we hope that you enjoy When You Wish Upon a Star.
Jiminy Cricket sang that song. We started out in 1871, and then we did a 1940 piece, and here is a 2002 arrangement. In his childhood, composer Franco Cesarino, his favorite book was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, with his memories of the magic of joy, fear, and freedom. Cesarini uh, sought to bring the figures from the book magically to life. Tonight, we're gonna to perform three of the five movements for you, and before each movement, I will read the composer uh, Cesarini's title that he chose for each one. So we'll begin, first of all, with Tom Sawyer. He was not the model boy of the village. He knew the model boy very well and loathed him. Becky Thatcher, a lovely little blue-eyed creature with yellow plated hair and the two long pigtails, with a summer frock and embroidered pantalettes.
Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry was cordially hated and dreaded by all the mothers of town because he was idle and lawless and vulgar and bad. to 1942 in a very exciting piece, even though it was published under the name of Al Hayes, Henry Fillmore was actually the composer of the Black Mass. Fillmore composed a large number of works that he published under various names. In his long career, he composed over 256 original works, and only 114 of these were published with his own name at the time. Besides Al Hayes, other names that he used were Gus Beans, Harold Bennett, Ray Hall, Harry Hartley, Will Huff, and even Henrietta Moore. So closing the first half of this evening's program, enjoy now the Black Mass.
years of war and a lot of Exciting reason. Okay, we're going to have an intermission right now. We're going to, it says right here in front of you that it's going to last 11 minutes and 37 seconds. So we're going to time you, and you want to come back on time because we're going to present for your enjoyment our third band of the evening, the stage band. So set your watch for 11 minutes and 31 seconds. We just use six seconds. And we'll call you back in time to get to your seats for the stage band.